Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video today. I hope you have been enjoying your day thus far. And so we'll be talking about what is happening as it relates to weather conditions. You're looking at these satellite imagery, but also I want to focus on a recent earthquake which shook the northeastern islands of the Caribbean. This time it was uh, uh, estimated to be around a 5.4, which is quite sizable in a sense. I mean, most persons near the epicenter of the quake would have felt the shaken. And there has been one earlier this morning as well near Puerto Rico. That one was weaker at around 3.7. So we'll be talking about that. But first, we're getting into what is happening in terms of weather conditions. So we can see that there is some activity out there in the Atlantic along the intertropical convergence zone. Not uncommon to see this kind of convective activity there right now. Uh, the trade winds of the north and south, they meet. And when they do, sometimes we see a lot of activity such as this happening and the intertropical convergence zone also helps to bring rainfall to parts of the South Caribbean and South America as well and even Southern Central America especially for Panama and even Costa Rica. Let's zoom into the region. Here we can see that there is some activity moving through some areas. We can see some thunderstorms just along the Caribbean coast of the Yucatan in the vicinity of Mexico. We can see that and also some convection to the north of Jamaica and some areas have been receiving some rainfall and uh, quite the cool down as well. I mean, temperatures are not as high compared to earlier this year, especially in around July. It was so hot and miserable, but thankfully now there is sort of a cool down. Other areas as well, Southeast Nicaragua, we can see all that cloud cover within the area and even some of the Eastern islands, but conditions will definitely be improving today compared to the previous days of some continuous rainfall for some areas. Now, this is as we head throughout today and into the very early morning hours of tomorrow. The Euro forecast in terms of all the rainfall activity expected. So as this map becomes more colorful with those yellow, oranges and even reds as well, those burgundies, a lot more rainfall expected within those areas. So we can definitely see some improvements for the eastern islands. Still some showers possible today across sections of Trinidad. May not be for everywhere, but some areas may even receive some heavy downpours. And it is a similar story through much of the Lesser Antilles going up to the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. Some showers will also be possible there and through the rest of the Greater Antilles, which includes Hispaniola, Cuba, Jamaica, potentially for the Cayman Islands as well. Over to Central America near the Caribbean coast of the Yucatan, which includes Belize, we could see some showers. They're already seeing that for some areas. And then especially for Nicaragua near the Caribbean coast and near the coast of Costa Rica and Panama as well, there could be some substantial rainfall. Heading down to Northern South America, especially later today in the afternoon hours, we could see some activity popping up here and there across Colombia, Venezuela, potentially for Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana as well for the ABC Islands. There may be some showers within the area up to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands. For the Southern Islands, there could be some showers, but uh, it will be on the drier side for the Northern Islands. So that is what it's to expect today as it relates to rainfall activity, guys. Now let's go on to those recent earthquakes. So early this morning, there was an estimated magnitude 3.7 quake offshore of Puerto Rico. There we can see that the epicenter was in the Atlantic Ocean. So the epicenter is directly above the focus. The focus is inside the crust of the Earth where the earthquake starts. So on the surface directly above the focus is what is known as the epicenter. And of course, the shaking would be stronger near the epicenter and uh, those seismic waves carrying all that energy where you feel all that shaking. Uh, those get weaker further away from the epicenter. That one was offshore, but not too long ago, there was a stronger quake. This one very close to the Virgin Islands, the magnitude 5.4 earthquake, very close to the island of Anagata. So that one was a moderate quake and it was felt across many areas. So it's affected the Virgin Islands, of course, Dominica, St. Martin, Guadeloupe, Montserrat, Puerto Rico, St. Kitts and Nevis, even headed toward areas such as uh, the Caribbean Netherlands, which would include Seba, St. Eustatius, and uh, also going toward St. Barthelemy, Antigua and Barbuda, and Anguilla have potentially felt the shake. And so you can let me know in the comments if you guys felt this one. And it's been very active in the past few months 
across the Caribbean, various areas. Uh, Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, even toward Barbados.、Uh, many islands have been experiencing earthquakes, and in reality, it is not uncommon at all across the Caribbean. But there's definitely that chance of some aftershocks. So, guys, please be on alert, stay vigilant, and of course, please stay safe as best as. You can because these things—they're completely out of our control, and the most that we can do is know what actions to take whenever they strike. So, of course, I'll be keeping you posted, and also new videos coming soon to my second channel, Weather Extras. So you can stay tuned for that. I'll be posting in the community of this channel when that video is posted. I was trying to get it done for later today. We'll see how that goes. If not, then definitely for. Tomorrow, but that's it for now, guys. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be weather wise.